just a recap since Saturday. Um, Sunday uh, was a required day off, so it's, uh, it's nice when those, day off, those days off uh, fall on Sunday and, and uh, there's no class and we can kind of take a minute to reset and get our minds fresh uh, before we you know, go into prep for the following opponent. So, you know, we took Sunday off. Yesterday uh, we started prep for a very good Cincinnati team, but uh, we're excited to you know, have a two-game home stretch and be back uh, on our home floor with our, our fans behind us. So we're excited to, to see Mountaineer Nation and, and uh, hope, hope uh, we continue to have that support we've got so far. Uh, up to this point, and excited to have those uh, people backing us in the Coliseum tomorrow night. Judge, um, the prognosis for Jesse obviously got to play. Uh, do you see that he progresses over time? Do you think it's something he's got to battle all season? Or where do you think he he gets to? Uh, he had an appointment yesterday where it uh, which went really, really well, and I think for him, uh, more than anything, it's going to give him some peace of mind and some confidence uh, moving forward. That, uh, you know, there is going to be a little bit of pain he's probably going to have to, um, you know, play through, but that's, uh, you know, very uh, common for this uh, injury. So I think uh, that'll, and even looking back at yesterday's practice, I think he played with uh, less hesitation uh, than he's played uh, with to this point. So I think anybody that watched that game on, on Saturday probably saw that Jesse was, you know, favoring that uh, wrist in a lot of ways. And maybe people might think that, you know, it was rushed to get him out there. Uh, but, you know, that was totally up to him in terms of, you know, he gave me the, the, the go ahead on, on Saturday morning and says, I'm ready, I want to try this. So uh, the moment that we, we thought we needed him, you know, we threw him out there to see, to see what happens. Have to that rap, you think going forward, does that seem to affect the shot a little bit? I think that the way it's uh, the way I think it's supposed to work out is that the you know earlier um, with his uh, rehab, the, the, the wrap would be a lot tighter, mm -hmm. you know, early. And as we progress, you know, each and every day and, and move forward with the deal, probably just loosen uh, that up as we go. But there certainly has to be some type of protective measure for him uh, moving forward. Pretty cool on pressing a little bit, and is he? Dealing with teams trying to take him away and game planning. Yeah, yeah and I, I think uh, we're going to find out with, with Raekwon, and, and um, he, he, I keep on telling, having conversations with him, and, and some some games he'll he'll uh, he would be so such an amazing player for you, and then other games, you know, if he forces some action, sometimes it, it's really um, it can hurt the team, uh, but he by no means wants to hurt the team in, in any way and, and he's trying to figure out what that niche is that he can bring to the table and, and be effective as a scorer, uh, as a defender, whatever that may be. So um, we're having a lot of conversations in that regard and, and uh, his mindset's you know right where you want it to be in terms of uh, growth and learning and, and trying to fit into to what we got going on and be an effective member of uh, the program. So. Um, I'm pleased with his mindset, and, and uh, uh, you know, tomorrow, you know, with the home crowd, he's done really well at home. So I'm excited to see uh, you know him in action tomorrow. What Cincinnati bringing to the table? I know they got size and uh, kind of a United Nations type roster. Yeah, they're they got a you know it's one of those teams that they, they play really really physical. We talked about that over the past with some of these teams that we've struggled with. You know between. UMass and Houston and Central Florida. I mean, they're right up there with uh, those type of teams in terms of their physicality. Uh, so we're going to have to match that physicality. Um, we can't back down by any means. We can't play on our heels. They're a very, very good uh, offensive rebounding team, and uh, that's something that we're going to have to, you know, shore up. And we continue to we understand it's going to struggle, you know, to this point. So. Hopefully, inserting Jesse into the lineup, getting him more comfortable, should uh, help us shore some of those defensive rebounding issues that we've had. But if you look back at the game against Oklahoma State, uh, the, the first play of uh, uh, you know on defensive end, we gave up an offensive rebound and ended up uh, being a made three-point shot. And down the stretch, when we we're trying to you know make winning plays uh, to win the game, you know they made those winning plays. They, they got that offensive rebound, the kick out, and, and made that shot. 
you know, having those having all those conversations with our guys when comparing game to game. If you look back at our Kansas game and how we were so effective down the stretch, we were the team making those winning plays. Raekwon got a really hard rebound. Pat got a really hard rebound and kicked it out to Raekwon for a three. That's the same thing that was happening to us in Stillwater down the stretch, and we just weren't making those winning plays down the stretch.